Okay, hello, year 10. What I'd like you to do today, so following on from the tasks that you've already done with me, um, I asked you last lesson to play around with some font ideas, okay? Well, instead of using the prescribed form fonts now that you've got on Pixlr, what I'd like you to do is try and have a go at developing your own font. Now, in order to do that, what you can do is grab an A4 piece of paper and you draw your cap height, so this is the top of your capital letter, and then another line, which is the bottom of your capital letter. Now, in Photoshop, in Pixlr, you can bring up, bring up guidelines, so it's the same sort of technique that you'd use, uh, but on paper, first of all, so you, can, you can't do this in your sketchbooks, unfortunately, because I've got them, but if you can do them on some A4 paper, or any paper that you might have uh, that's spared in an old book or something, you can use that. So I've got my baseline, this line here is the baseline, the bottom line, and then I've got my cap height. I've also got another line called the X height, and I will provide this to you in a presentation that goes along with this. So if I wrote my, if I, sorry, if I drew a capital B, the B would start at the baseline, hit the top of the cap height, and come back down to the baseline. So I can use rectangles to help me come up with or to help frame my letters so within this uh square that i've drawn at a slight angle i'm now going to draw my b so you can draw some elements freehand so i'm going to add a little curve here for the top of my b and a little curve here at the top and then in order to make it a b i'm just going to use my ruler just to draw a little guideline here so I'm going to come back down to this point and I'm going to come back around to that point. So hopefully you can now see the start of my B. And again, I'm going to use a ruler, draw some faint lines. You can probably barely see this. Okay, I'll just go over it again. So I've got a faint line there. That now is going to be the inner part of my B. And down here is going to be the inner part of my lower part of my B. I realise I said parts a lot of times then. So now I've got a nice and neat knee. You can probably, uh, <laughs> nice neat B. You can probably guess which film I'm doing. Um, so there's my B. Now if I was going to do a lowercase letter, I would draw that now within the uh, baseline to my X site. So I'll just demonstrate that. Now, I'm not too fond on this, but as it's a demonstration, it'll do for now. So I'm using the, cat, the X height. To do my lower case letters. I'm going a little bit rogue now, doing a free hand. I really like the look of this, so I'll probably come back and make some sections just a little bit thicker and try and remain consistent with that first letter that I drew. Not happy with my A. Not really happy with my C here either. But you don't have to draw all of the letters at once. So that gives you an idea about how you can develop your own font. So for the movie poster that you're doing, what I'd like to see on paper, um, and then you can upload it to Google Classroom, um, and then keep the piece of paper and stick it into your sketchbooks when you have them back, when, you can, when I see you next year, I'd like to see a title that has been designed by yourselves, please. So you can stop the video here. If you want to go on, I'll just show you how I would neatly draw one that is all in caps. So I'm going to create a number of squares, leaving a space, keeping the lines parallel. So if I wanted to turn this into a C now, I need to think, right, what are the main elements of the C? Well, I'm coming back around to the top 
round to the bottom. I'm going to take some sections out. So I've got a nice, neat C. And I'll tell you what, I quite like what I did there, how I came back up. So I'm going to exaggerate just the ends of the C. And then my K, think about the elements that I'm taking out. So you can see I'm starting to develop a sort of font or typeface that is my own. I'm using the constraints of the cap height and the baseline. So the cap height is the top of the capital letter and then the baseline is right at the bottom. So already now I'm thinking, right, I need to get rid of these two. I'm not too fond of those. You don't need to put an X in it. But I can now annotate and say, right, what is it that I'm trying to achieve? I'm trying to achieve a nice, bold typeface that can be read from a distance with all of the letters looking fairly consistent. So you can use some inspiration from the internet. Uh, da Font is a really good website for lots of different font faces. Um, or just go completely rogue and develop your own font face so hopefully that's useful guys um that's the work that i'd like to see over the course of the next few lessons if i don't hear from you make sure that you have a very excellent christmas period enjoy the time off but please make sure that you're completing all of the tasks on google classroom